All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord, and I wanted to dive in on Anton Ratasuni. Hopefully, I'm saying his last name correctly. As he enters into the classic physique division, he's a rising star. Lots of talk about him over social media, YouTube, Instagram. He's becoming very popular very fast, and it's for a reason. Uh, he recently won a classic physique champion show in uh, Texas. And now he's here with Seth and hitting some poses and training with them. And I'm super impressed. Like 19 years old. Did I forget to mention he is 19 years old? And the amount of muscularity, the level of conditioning he's bringing, his symmetry is is good it's not perfect yet nobody's perfect but it's not there yet but i'm really really impressed with the density the graininess to the muscle that he's displaying at 19 it's unbelievable so this guy definitely has a bright future in the classic physique division now the legs may be the only thing genetically that hold him back you know leave a comment below does he have a chance to say ever become a classic physique Mr. Olympia champion with the structure and the genetics of his legs? Because they're fairly narrow. And no matter what you do to your legs, you can't add round sweep to the teardrops into the outer quad region. It's very, very hard to do. You know, Breon has the problem. Even... Uh, Ramon Dino has that same problem with the quad sweep. You just can't can't really build on that. And I'm seeing that with his physique. That's the issue. And I don't know if he'll be able to get beyond it. But his upper body is tremendous. Good symmetry, good delts, good tremendous chest development already at 19 years old. His back is already well developed. You got to realize, again, the guy's 19. Look at how thick his delts and his triceps and his chest. It's really, we, we see this come along every now and then. Every 10 years, something crazy happens and we see this athlete come out of nowhere, just like Chris Bumstead did. And they're just at another level beyond the average competitor out there. And they just smoke everyone in their class and they become pro, and they go and they win their first pro show, and then they're on the Olympia stage, and that's kind of what happened to Chris Bumstead. Now, Anton's on that same trajectory, and he is going to be on the Mr. Olympia stage very soon, and potentially if Chris is still competing in 2025, we may see Anton get to stand next to Seabum before he retires. Wouldn't that be awesome to see? He still needs to work on his posing. He's good at posing. He just needs a little bit of refinement and tweaking to it. But wow, I mean, this guy is just unbelievable. The conditioning he's bringing at 19. I haven't seen this type of development and maturity to an athlete's physique at such a young age. The deep separation, the back is really, really impressive along the, the upper traps in the deltoid region. It's really just densely developed. I, would, I wonder how long he has been training for, for one. Has he been training since he was like 13 years old and just been in the game almost eight years, right? Maybe. Maybe that's why he looks the way he does. Look at the side quad, the, the tie in between the hamstring and the glute. It's just shredded. So leave a comment below, guys. Where do you think this guy is headed? Do you think he's headed to become the next classic physique Mr. Olympia champion? In a few years, maybe in two to four years, this guy could be replacing Chris Bumstead. That's the talk of the town right now is that this guy is the future of classic physique. He has all the tools. He's already got the conditioning down pat. Doesn't need to work on that. You know, he's always going to come shredded glutes when he competes. Now he just needs to work on the quads. That's the one thing I pointed out is he needs to work on those quads and he can do some damage. And take out a lot of these guys that are in the top five right now to Mr. Olympia. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one. Peace.